I'm Vicky Mann, Commercial Director at Renewable UK. Why am I so sparkly today, I hear you say? Well, some of you may remember this dress from last year's Global Offshore Wind Awards. What am I doing today? Telling you the nominations have opened for 2023. We are thrilled to be back this year at the Royal Lancaster on the 26th of October, delivering a very special evening in the offshore industry, celebrating achievements, innovation, people, supply chain, and more. It is an evening you don't want to miss. And let's face it, if there is something this industry is very good at, it's making people have FOMO. So make sure the 26th of October is in your calendar and reserve your table or ticket now. So, those all important awards. This year we have 11 awards, including two new categories, and may even have an extra Vote on the Night award. But the categories you can enter now are People, Skills, and Health and Safety. Offshore Wind Health and Safety and Wellbeing Award for organisations that can demonstrate improved health and safety and wellbeing offshore wind operations. Offshore Wind Energy Skills Award for organisations that have delivered improved skills and competence within the offshore wind operations. Future Leaders Award for individuals that have displayed exceptional leadership, gone above and beyond, inspirational. Aspiring Leader Award for individuals that have demonstrated leadership qualities and have potential to become future leaders in the offshore wind industry. This can include qualities such as visionary thinking, effective communication skills, problem solving abilities and the ability to inspire and motivate others. Innovation and Excellence Supply Chain Innovation Award An organisation that has introduced a new idea, concept or technology to the offshore wind supply chain. Offshore Wind Game Changer Award for organisations or individuals recognising exceptional innovations or contributions that have significantly impacted the offshore wind industry. Offshore Wind Project Award for organisations for an individual project, however incorporated, highlighted in terms of achievements in health and safety, management, cost efficiency, people and skills, supply chain relationships or speed of deployment. Brand new award! So this is our Offshore Wind Collaboration Award, new for 2023. For organisations recognising projects or initiatives that demonstrate effective collaboration and partnerships in offshore wind. Environmental, Social and Governance. Just Transition Champion Award for organisations recognising initiatives that prioritise the well-being of workers and communities affected by the transition to offshore wind. This includes ensuring fair employment practices, protecting workers' rights, and promoting social equity in terms of job creation and community development. Brand new award. This is our Environment Sustainability Award, new for 2023. For organizations recognizing an initiative's overall impact on the environment, including assessing the potential effects on marine life, bird migration patterns, and habitats. Equality and Inclusivity Award. For organisations demonstrating innovative approaches and best practices in advancing equality and inclusivity in the offshore wind sector, this can include the development of new strategies, technologies or policies that promote diversity and inclusion as well as sharing knowledge and collaborating with other industry stakeholders. And that's it! Those are the 11 fantastic awards that you can nominate individuals, organisations and projects in now, so get nominating! Of course, putting these awards on means we need the support from the industry and it can't go unmentioned. A thank you to our sponsors that have signed up already. It would also be amiss of me not to mention the fact that there are still a few opportunities available. So if you are interested in sponsoring at this year's Offshore Wind Awards, please get in contact. I am also thrilled to announce that we have confirmed Nish Kumar for the second year to be our host for the evening. Let's see what he said at last year's event. I've had an absolutely lovely time. Everybody's been very nice to me and uh, it's uh, been a wonderful evening. I don't get asked to do many of these types of events because normally the type of comedy I do is not conducive for a good evening. But, you know, with Renewable Energy, it's, you know, you think, you roughly calculate the audience is going to be within my wheelhouse. And, yeah, I do think it is something I'm very happy to support. Like, I think, you know, it's, it's the future. And, in fact, arguably, we kind of need it to be the present. You know, when you sort of look at the news and you see Pakistan is kind of underwater at the moment. It, you know, occasionally Australia is just on fire. It was 40 degrees and bits of London burst into flames. You know, it, it's, 
the pressing need for action on the climate crisis is our present and it's our reality right now. And I think that uh, the more support we can throw behind renewable energy, not even just for the climate crisis, I mean, we look at the energy shortages, the bills that people are gonna be facing, we can cut those by getting behind the renewable energy sector. Great to hear Nish's feedback from last year and can't wait for the last for this year. Looking forward to seeing you then. So, for those all important deadlines. Nomination closing deadline, Monday the 14th of August at 5 p.m. Shortlist announcement. Friday the 8th of September. Awards evening, Thursday the 26th of October. Table and ticket sales open now until the 15th of October. Okay, that's all for now. You know what you need to do. Nominate, book and share. So nominate any, in any of the 11 categories. Book your table or ticket now and share this on social media. Let's get the industry buzzing for this evening in October. You will find all the information you need on our website. And until then, I look forward to seeing you at the event of the year. And don't forget, wear something sparkly.